Hello friends, welcome to Good Taker Lead Code Coding Tutorials. Here I'm going to demonstrate how to solve lead code coding problem valid parentheses. Let's take a look at problem description first. Given a string contains just the characters parentheses, braces, brackets, determine if the input string is valid. The bracket must close in correct order, so the parentheses, braces, or brackets must match in pairs. If not matching in pairs, that's not a valid parentheses input. Here I'm going to demonstrate the main idea to solve this problem. So here I'm going to have an input string with three kinds of parentheses. So parentheses, braces, brackets. So they match in pairs, like this. So left parentheses match with the right parentheses, and right brackets match with the left brackets. So that's a valid input string. And we have a, some example like this. There are two left parentheses and just one right parentheses. So that's not valid. And the example like this, there are more right parentheses than left parentheses. That's also not valid input string. The solution to this problem actually is not hard, as long as you can think of a data structure stack. Stack is a first thing last out data structure. So you can imagine stack is a bucket. So for this problem, Every time we meet a left parenthesis, we can put it into the stack, to the bottom of the stack. And every time we meet a right parenthesis, we should check whether this right parenthesis match with the top elements in the stack. So we check whether this right bracket match with the top left parentheses in the stack. If match it, we just pop up this left parentheses from the stack. We keep doing this until we reach to the end of this string, to the last character of this string. So at last, we can check whether this stack back to the empty stack. If it's an empty stack in the end, that this is a valid input string because uh, all right parentheses can match with all left parentheses. If stack is not empty, that means there are still some left parentheses left in the stack. Or at some point, we find the right parentheses can't find the match the left parentheses. Stack already empty, that's also not a valid input string. Okay, here, go back to the problem. I'm going to demonstrate coding in Java. So as we just mentioned, we can introduce a stack to help solve the problem. So stack used to store the characters of the string. And here we are going to read each character in this string. So we read each characters. So first, we're going to use a useful function to char array, a useful string function to convert the string to an array of characters so that we can read each character in this string. And here, as we just illustrate in example, when we encounter a character that's a left parenthesis, so either it's a left parenthesis or a left bracket or it is a left uh, braces. So every time we encounter a left parenthesis, we are going to push it into the stack. Otherwise, if the encounter if we encounter a right parenthesis, we are going to do some check first. So we are check whether this stack is already empty or not. 
and we are check right parentheses we are visiting match with the top element in the stack. So top of a stack, we can use stack dot p to get the top element in the stack. There are three kinds of matches: parentheses matches, bracket matches, and braces matches. So we cannot use a one single lines of code to handle all these three matches. We need to have a helper function later to handle these three kinds. If matches, we just remove the top left parentheses in the stack. Otherwise, if not matches or if the stack is already empty, we just immediately return false. That's a not valid input string. At last, if we work through the every characters in this string, we just need to check whether the stack is empty or not. If it's empty, that's a valid input string. So here we are going to finish our helper function here. Let's call it is pair parentheses. So we check whether the left and the right parentheses match in pairs. So have two parameters, left and the right. We can simply do some Boolean check here. If left is a left parentheses and right is a right parentheses, or if left is a left bracket and right is a right bracket, or if a left is a left braces and right is a right braces. So we finish a check here. So we update the lines here, use our helper function. So left character is a stack of P and the right is a current character we are waiting. So we update here. We'll go over the problem, we use a stack. Every time we meet a left parentheses, we push to stack. Otherwise, we do some check and uh, check the stack is whether empty at last. Let's click the submit button and uh, let's see what's the result. Pending. Uh, let's keep waiting, judging. Oh cool, accepted. So our solution is correct to this problem. So I hope now you already master the mechanism to solve this problem. Thank you for watching. This is a good taker. And I will keep uploading new video tutorials. If you like, you can subscribe to this channel. So let's keep making progress together. Okay, bye.